Hi, third graders. Welcome to Vocabulary and Context Cards for Journeys Lesson 3, Destiny's Gift. Number one, afford. Kids collect toys for families who can't afford to buy them. The word afford is a verb, an action word, and it means to be able to pay for or spare. Number two, customers. Some store owners ask customers to donate a dollar to charity. The word customer is a noun and it's a person who buys goods or services. Number three, contacted. This girl contacted neighbors by phone and asked for help with projects. The word contact is a verb and it means to get in touch with. Number four, raise. Many groups have bake sales to raise needed money. The word raise is a verb, an action word, and it means to gather together or collect. Number five, earn. These students are trying to earn enough to help buy new library books. So the word earn is another verb, action word, and it means to gain by working or by supplying service. Number six, figure. Many schools figure out ways to reuse paper instead of throwing it away. The word figure is a verb. A lot of our words are action words this week. Figure means to work out by thinking. This is something we do every single day when we're confronted with a problem. We figure out ways to solve our problem. Number seven, block. Neighbors keep this city block pleasant by having a cleanup day each month. Block is a noun, a person, place, or thing, and it's a part of a street marked off by the two nearest cross streets. Number eight, spreading. With floodwaters spreading, people had to pitch in and stack sandbags. The word spread is another verb, action word, and it means to open out wide or wider. Those are our vocabulary words for Journeys Lesson 3. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye.